Hi, it's Better Photo Jim with your question of the day. So today's question is, how can I make better photos of waterfalls or moving streams? And we all have seen those wonderful cotton candy kind of photos. So here we go. We'll talk about how to make the best photos of waterfalls and streams that you possibly can. The first thing is that you're going to want to have your camera securely mounted on a tripod and then you're going to want to decrease the shutter speed in any way possible. Now, one of the simplest ways is to use a polarizing filter that will darken your lens a little bit. It'll, it'll block some of the light coming through. But a better way is to get a special filter just for this. I love one called a very D variable density filter. But if you can't afford a filter like that, you can get anything that basically acts like sunglasses for your lens. And if you can't do those, then try to photograph on a dimmer day. It may be counterintuitive, but you know, you want a lack of light in these situations. And on that note, there's the second tip. Make sure that you're not photographing the waterfall or the stream as it's in direct light. If you can, make sure that it's shaded because if you have the water going through direct light, it's going to come out as overexposed. And overexposed means that there's no detail in it whatsoever. It's just gonna be a white blob. And that's just so much less satisfying. And then the third thing is, if you can, see if you can get creative about color. See if you can get some colorful object in the foreground. If you can get creative about color and composition, you can make your waterfall photo a hundred times more interesting. It can make it stand out so much from the competition. So if you see some fall leaves, for example, in the foreground, get down way low and have them in the foreground while you have that waterfall in the background. All right, so there are a few ways that you can improve your waterfall photos. I hope that helps. Click the like button below, subscribe to my channel, and feel free to email me with your question about photography. And I really mean that. I'd love to hear from you. Send me a message and let me know what you'd like me to address in a future video. All right, this is Better Photo Jim. Have fun making better and better photos.